Mayong hapon sa tanan. Welcome sa tanan sa atong Misa Novena. Sa dili pa nato sugdan kini, aduna kitay mga pahibalo. Karong umabot Enero 19, 2018, paghahimuo ng Walk with Mary, nga pagasugdan sa Las Tres sa Kadlaon, ang paglakaw sa Guadalupe Shrine, nga magtagbo sa kaduhang grupo sa Fuente Osminia, o pagasugdan dayon, ang paglakaw sa alas 4 sa Kadlaon, gikan sa Fuente Osmeña, padulong sa Basilica Pilgrim Center. Gihangyo ang tanan sa pag-uban o paggugus lamang uban sa mga imahe nga ilang pagadadun. O wala itugot ang laing mga karoza di inibutang ang ilang imahe gawa sa paggugus lamang uban kanila. Walay laing karo gawa sa Guadalupe nga karoza nga gitugutan sa maong Walk with Mary. Ang opisina sa rektor nagpadayon sa pagdawat ni Adtong Gustong mo sponsor sa mga Misa Novena, live television telika sa Fiesta Pontifical Mass sa Visperas ug sa Fiesta. Katong Gustong mo suporta sa mga panginahanglan sa libuan ka mga volunteers nga magserbisyo kada adlaw gikan sa unang misa sa buntag ngadto sa gabi i o gikan sa unang adlaw sa Novena hangtod sa Fiesta palihog adto lamang ang 
at tuwa lamang ang rector's office. Sa kasayuran sa tanan, ang basilika wala magtugot ni Bisan kinsa gawas nga mudawat sa inyong mga donasyon. Ang tanang donasyon at ito lamang ihatag direkta sa rector's office. Nagkinahanglan pakitaw mga volunteer multicabs o sakyanan nga mga may, may sound system o radio para ma-assign nga uh, stationary sa line sa lain-lain bahin sa ruta sa penitential walks sa Enero 19 o sa prosesyon sa Enero 20 aron mabati sa niuban o naghuwat sa prosesyon ang mga pagrosaryo o awit nga isibya sa radio ang mutabang ni ini palihog lang pagparistro nga sa opisina sa lay ministers giawhag usab ang mga kompanya o mga balay nga anaa sa ruta sa prosesyon nga may sound system o radio sa pagpagawas o pagpatingog ni ini sa maong gihapong pagtabang. Sa Enero 19 usab sa alas 5.30 sa Buntag, paghahimuo ng traslasyon mas o kumani ini sa alas 7 sugdandayon ang traslasyon motorcade nga modala sa milagrosong imahen sa senior uban sa berhen sa Guadalupe nga to sa St. Joseph Shrine sa Mandawi City. Ang ruta sa traslasyon karong tuiga nga magsugod sa alas 7 sa buntag. O guman sa misa, sundan dayon kini sa alas 3 sa motorkada, gikan sa Mandawi City, ngadto sa Verhen sa Rigla Shrine sa Lapu-Lapu City. Ang ruta mao kini sa St. Joseph National Shrine, diretsyo ngadto sa Uwano Avenue, then sa DM Cortez to First Mandawi Mactan Bridge to Quezon Highway de la Serna Street right turn sa Osminia Street dayon sa Virgen de la Regla Shrine din paghimuo ng welcome mass sa pagbisita sa imahen sa Santo Niño sa Las 4 sa Cadlaon human sa misa sugdan dayon ang motorkada sa Las 5:15 sa Buntag gikan sa simbahan sa Virgen sa Regla ngadto sa Philippine Central Naval Station O para sa pagsugod sa fluvial procession sa ontop sa Lasay sa Buntag ang gamiton nga galyon karong tuiga mao ang barko sa Philippine Navy Ang ruta sa fluvial procession mao kini Philippine Central Naval Station daplin sa Lapu-Lapu padulong sa First Mandawi Mactan Bridge moyo turn sa padaplin sa Mandawi City to Cebu City mula ho sa Pasel area dayon you turn do all sa SRP balik ngadto sa pagdunggo sa Pier 1 sa Cebu City ini kanaog sa mga imahen sa Santo Niño ug Berenso Guadalupe himon dayon ang foot procession padulong diri sa basilika sundan dayon kini sa reenactment sa unang pagbunyag ug kasal sa usa ka santos nga misa ug tapuson kini sa sinulog offering Sa launa sa hapon ni Anang Sabado, Enero 20, sugdan ang solemne nga prosesyon sa milagrosong imahen ni Senyor Santo Niño. Ang ruta sa prosesyon maokini Basilica, Osmania Boulevard, to General Maxilom, to Imo Street, to MJ Cuenco, to Toyota, F. Ordaneta Street, P. Borgo Street, to Osmania Boulevard, and back to Basilica. Giauhag ang ma maagian sa prosesyon sa dili pagpabuto sa kwitis o bisan unsa nga klase sa pabuto o fireworks aron paglikay sa masamad o disgrasya pagbutang hinuon og radio o sound system sa gawas sa balay o building aron madunggan sa tanang mukuyog o mutanaw sa prosesyon ang hiniusang pagrosaryo o pag-awit nga broadcast sa DYRF o DYLA AM station o 89.1 Power FM Station Human sa prosesyon sa ulugo ng Pontifical Mass nga sundan sa usaka oras nga traditional religious sinulog Respetahan nato ang simbahan sa Tanang Higayon Batunan nato ang kalimpyo sa Basilica o Pilgrim Center o sa palibot ni ini Diin kita magpabilin o diin dili kita magbilin o magpatakag labay sa mga papel putos, karton, plastic bags Kindi wrappers ug uban pa. Ibutang sa mga trash cans ug kung wala ibutang kini sa inyong bulsa. Atong hinumduman nga ang cleanliness is next to godliness. Ampinga nato ang mga payong sa basilika nga gamiton nga sa limbong sa init, sa adlaw 
ug sa uwan mintras may misa novena. Inighuman o gamit iuli kini sa butanganan, ayaw kini lingkuri o ayaw dada sa balay kay dili kini souvenir items. Aduna kita ay mga first aid station sa sulod sa Pilgrim Center o ang atong Emergency Operation Command Center tuwa sa may City Hall area. Nga gipanguluhan sa Cebu City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office in coordination with DRRMC sa probinsya sa Talisay o Mandawe. Sa kapulisan, responders o volunteers para sa seguridad. Aduna inspection ang matag entrance sa Basilica Pilgrim Center para madali ang pag-inspeksyon dad al Dada ang gamay nga bag lamang. Salamat sa inyong pasensya o pagsabot panahon sa inspeksyon. Mga ginikanan, yaya, lola o lolo, palihog bantay o guniti ang mga bata, aron, dili mawagtang kon mak makakita kitang mga bata nga mabiyaan, dada lamang ang guard sa office sa may Basilica Main Gate. Sa katapusan, Gipahimot ngunan ang tanan nga magbantay sa tanang higayon sa ilang pitaka bagul sa personal nga mga butang aron dili mahabilin ug mawagtang ba hinuon. Daghang salamat. Ug line pipe.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. From the first book of Samuel, Samuel said to Saul, Stop. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Saul replied, Speak. Samuel then said, Though little in your own esteem, are you not leader of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king of Israel and sent you on a mission, saying, Go and put the sinful Amalekites under a ban of destruction, fight against them until you have exterminated them. Why then have you disobeyed the Lord? You have pounced on the spoil, thus displeasing the Lord. Saul answered Samuel, I did indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought back Agag, and I have destroyed Amalek under the ban. But from the spoil, the man took sheep and oxen, the best of what had been banned, to sacrifice to the Lord, their God in Hilgal. 
But Samuel said, Does the Lord so delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obedience to the commandment of the Lord? Obedience is better than sacrifice and submission than the fat of rams. For a sin like divination is rebel rebellion and presumption is the crime of idolatry. Because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he too has rejected you as ruler. The word of the Lord. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. For your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. these things shall I be deaf to it or do you think that I am like yourself I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes he that offers praise a sacrifice glorifies me and to him that goes to the right way I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unstricken cloth on an old clock. If he does, its fullness pulls away. The new from the old and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into the old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wine skins. The Gospel of the Lord. Brother priests, reverend sisters, Sisters and brothers, mga devotees of Senor Santo Nino, maayong hapon kanatong tanan. Atong daigon ang atong mahal nga patron Senor Santo Nino sa pag-ingon, Biba, pit Senor. Biba, pit Senor. Like the disciples in today's gospel, we do not mourn. Instead, we rejoice and celebrate. Because the God whom we worship and adore is a God who does not live out there in the high heavens. Instead, the God whom we worship is a God who is close to us. Emmanuel, God with us. And that is the fundamental truth that we proclaim every time we venerate the image of the Señor Santo Niño as it reminds us of how far did God go in order to show us how much He loves us. In the Senor Santo Nino, we see a God na mi unong kanato, mi tambayayong kanato, magligon kanato, and telling us to live our lives so that we may please God the Father. And as we celebrate the presence of God with us today, we are also reminded of this invitation from Jesus. That as we celebrate His presence, we are also called to align our lives according to His message. Jesus beautifully explicates this invitation in the second part of our gospel today. Matod pa sa atong ginoo, no one sews an unshrunken cloth into an old cloak because that piece of cloth would shrink and then the tear will get worse. No one also pours new wine into an old wineskin because we know that the new wine will continue to ferment and the old wineskin would be unable to stretch and thus it would burst and wine and the wineskins 
are wasted. Sa laktod niya pagkasulti, it tells us that the, as we embrace this God who lives with us, we are also are to let go of our old ways of living. Tungod kay ang bagong kinabuhi nga gadyala sa atong ginuungan hika nato is not compatible with our old ways of living. That is why we are invited that as we celebrate the presence of God with us, kita usab manamilit sa daan nato nga mga kinaiya. Our mindsets and our attitudes that are incompatible with the message of Jesus. Ug din hita ma-challenge mga iksuon. Because human as we are, we have that proclivity to fall. Usahay mapandulta. Usahay we say no to God and say yes to our selfish desires. And the good news for us, my dear friends, is this. God never gives up on us. And that is also what we proclaim in our devotion to the Santo Nino. Maubitaw nga gitawag nato siya bato balani sa gugma. Magnet of love. Because His love is that driving force that draws us closer to Himself. Nga tungod sa kadaghan, sa kaluoy, o gugma nga iyang gibubo ka nato, we cannot help but undergo that slow and gradual process of self-transformation. That is why Senor Santo Nino is our inspiration as renewed disciples for new evangelization because His love is changing us into the likeness of Himself. A friend of mine who is a deacon in Talibon texted me the other day, Pader, magbinot anta pader kay maikog ta sa ginoo. He nailed it. Tungod kay sa kadaghang kaayo nga gibubo niya sa atong tagsa-tagsa kakinabuhi, we cannot help but reciprocate to this love nga iyahang gihatag ka nato. And that is why kita mga igsuon na dasig ta to become obedient to God. As we come here today and celebrate God's presence, we also renew our commitment to obey God. In our first reading today, Samuel reminds us that obedience is more pleasing to God than sacrifice. And our submission to Him is more pleasing than mga sinunog ng mga halad. And the devotion to the Senor Santo Nino is helping us so that we can always obey God. Diha sa pagtanaw nato sa imahe niya nga nagagunit sa kalibutan. Because obedience, my dear friends, is only possible when we trust Him whom we obey. O kita gidasig tanga musalig sa Senor Santo Nino because He holds our lives. He holds the world in His loving hands. Musalig ta niya and we obey. Nga sometimes bisag basihan na to, ang mga tawhano na to, nga mga panlantaw o timbangan, lisod ka ayo ang ipabuhat sa Diyos. But nevertheless, the challenge remains the same. Obey God. Nahinumdum lang ko, there was one story na ako no to'y tao nga mitambong siya o misa de galyo mga igsuon. O ngit-ngit pa man kaayo, paingon sa simbahan. He accidentally fell into a murabitaw pangpang. May gani nga sa pagkaligid niya sa pangpang, nakagunit siya o gamot sa kahoy. And so, religyoso man kayo siya, he shouted, Ginoo, tabangi in taon ko, luwas ako. And all of a sudden, ang ginoo, mitubag ka niya mga igsuon. Anak, nak, 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 nak. Uy, ginoo, tabangi ko, nahug ko din he. Buhi e ka ng gamot, mot, 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 mot. Mutuin siya nga, maura ni ang akong security, why would, I why would I let go of this gamot? O why laing ginoo diha? Ako ray ginoo di re. re, re. And so he insisted, wag yun niya buhi ang gamot, hangto ni siga na lang ang adlaw, and then he discovered, usakadangaw na lang, maabot na siya sa yuta. 
Sometimes mga igsuon, based on our human standards, lisod kaayo ang ipabuhat sa Dios. Sometimes based on our human standards, illogical ang ipabuhat sa Dios. But then the invitation for us is to trust Him because He desires nothing else but that which would help us grow into a better person so that we can become the person that God has created us to be. Musalig ta kaniya, and we obey Him. Ang mabaw na tong pangutana karon mga igsuon maukini. Unsa kahay ipabuhat sa Senyor Santo Ninyo kanimo. Wa baka siya nagdasig kanimo karon, pasayluan na siya nga imuhang gibungulan. Tinggi na siya nga wala gyud nimo tinggi sulod sa pila ka tuig. Bayri na ang imong utang. May we be able to discern what God wants us to do and then the power of the Senyor Santo Ninyo will give us the strength to accomplish what it is that He wants us to do. Biba, Pit Senor! The Lord Jesus is kind and merciful. And He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Let us now lift up to Señor Santo Niño de Cebu all our prayer intentions in this Novena Mass. Let us sing, Señor Santo Niño, receive our petition. Señor Santo Niño, receive our petition. That the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who are invested with executive legislative and judicial functions in society may consistently place the good of human beings above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. We lift to the Lord all the intentions and prayers offered and the souls prayed for by the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our country and in the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Señor Santo Niño, receive our petition. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, my dear friends, that this our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first gifts of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with angels and archangels, as we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est divideo patri omnipotenti, in unitate spiritu ho sancti, omnes et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Atong pahinumdum sa tanan nga buot nga lawat, lamidagyo din ni sa atong Pelgam Center Ground. Nga human unya sa inyong turno sa pagkalawat, palihog lag og iway, atong tagaan o higayon ang uban nga magkakalawat usab, makadool sila sa atong mga communion stations. Daghang salamat.
Atong gihanghiyo nga itong maiksuon sa pag-isa sa ilang mga kamot katong wala pa kakalawat, palihog. Alay ministers, no? daghan pa kayo diri sa tunga. Kung pwede atong sudlon, atong gihanghiyo itong maiksuon sa pag-iway atong tagag-agianan ng atong mga lay ministers nga mo sulod. Daghang salamat. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread to be one in mind and in heart. 
Through Christ our Lord. Prayer to Senor to Santo Nino. O oh, my, my dear, dear Jesus, Jesus, you are our King and our God. Because of your love for us, you came down from heaven, born of the Virgin Mary. My heart weeps, for in spite of your goodness, we have committed many sins. Forgive us, O oh Jesus, for our sin of ingratitude and return to your goodness. Strengthen our will to resist temptation and sin. With your grace, we will be able to fulfill our promises and share with your glory in heaven. O Holy Child Jesus, who is ever good and loving, we kneel before you, our true God. With humility, we implore you to give us your mercy and grant us all the favors we ask of you in this novena, so that we will enjoy the blessings of heaven. Amen. Fifth Day Petition O merciful Jesus, you have said that there will be more rejoicing in heaven for our sinner who repents that over 99 who just doesn't need repentance. We beseech you to grant us the grace of repentance for our sins and live for you in your holy name. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us ask Señor Santo Nino to hear our prayers and grant our petitions in this Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray. O oh, sweet, sweet, merciful Jesus, Señor Santo Nino, the source of all goodness, we kneel before your sacred image, imploring your divine aid for universal peace and brotherhood among all men and women. Enlighten the unbelievers and the heathens so that they will believe you as their true God. Restore the faith of those who have wandered away from you. Bring them back your fold with repentance in their hearts. Grant also to faithful departed in purgatory the remission of all their sins so that they will rest in peace forever. Finally, nourish and strengthen our faith in you so that we will serve you faithfully on earth. Amen. Palihog mang lingkod katung dunay kalingkuran. Sa dili pa ang katapusang panalangin, aduna kitay mga pahibalo ug pasalama. Una, palihog mintinaho nato ang kalimpyos sa Basilica, Felgon Center ug sa palibot ni ini sa Tanang Higayon. Ikaduha, sa pangpanggawas unya, hinay-hinay ug papsinsyahay lang ug way tukmuray. Ikatulo, Pagbantay-bantay sa inyong mga bag o pitaka, aron dili kini mahikalimtan. Ugning bahina, sa ngalan sa Tanang Kapariang Agustino Diniz sa Basilica, Minore del Santo Niño de Cebu, kinasingkasing ug mainito natong pasalamatan ang tanan na nakatampo sa kalampusan sa atong alasengko imedya misa nubina, Nining kalimang adlaw sa nobenaryo sa kapistahan sa tung mahal ng Senyor Santo Nino. Ngadto sa mga mas o pilgrims sponsors, praying communities, florists of the day, choir, sa tanang volunteers, o sa tanang mga nibuto ni Senyor Santo Nino nga may tambong karon sa kanila o kanatong tanan. Masipang pakpak pasalamat. Pahalipayan o sab nato ang mga pari ni konselibral ng misa karon at silang tagaan sa masipang pakpak pahalipay. Ngato sa tong presider o homilis. Siya ang assistant Paris priest of St. Catherine of Alexandria, Paris, Calca City, Cebu. Atong tagaan sa masipang pakpak pasalamat, si Reverend Father 
Je suis pas Slimundi. O global satanan, ngadto sa atong gipasidunggan atong selebrasyon karon ang batang Hesus, Señor Santo Niño, ang atong pinakamasipan pakpak pasalamat. Viva Pet Señor. Viva Señor Santo Niño. Viva Pet Señor. Viva Pet Señor. Lai masipang pakpak kang Señor Santo Niño. Dagang salamat o palihog manindog ang tanan. Blessing of religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these creatures and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and with a spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pizzignor!